Hello, I'm Dr. Charles Proctor, and in this video, we solve dot product and cross product using the Casio FX991EX class whiz. First thing we do is clear the memory, shift 9, select initialize all, hit equal, and then clear the screen. Now we look at the dot product and we need to define the vectors, so we toggle over to 5, which is vector. We can now select the vector we choose to enter, that's 1, and the dimension is 2. We then input our vector, 3 and 4. We clear the screen, go back up to the menu, we're already on vector, so we can hit equal, and now we can select vector B, which is 2. Two-dimensional. Enter in negative 2 and 10. And clear the screen. Now we can work on doing the dot product operation. So we hit option 3, and that will give us our vector A. We then option, toggle down, and select dot product, which is 2, and then option, and select our second vector, B, which is 4. Hit equal, and we have now the dot product of those two vectors, 34. Clear the memory, so that we're all starting at the same place again. Shift 9, initialize all, equal, and then clear the screen. We'll now take the cross product of two three-dimensional vectors. So we define the vectors, menu, toggle over to vector, hit equal, and now select our first vector. It's three-dimensional this time, and now we enter in the data for that vector. Three equal, five equal, and seven equal. clear the screen, go back to the menu, and we're already on vector, so we hit equal, and we're going to define our second vector, which is three-dimensional, and enter 10, 2, and negative 1. We use our AC to clear the screen, and go up to option and we're going to select our first vector. And now we just simply multiply it times the second vector. And when we hit equal, we get our result. Negative 19, 73, and negative 44. Thank you for watching. I'm Dr. Charles Proctor, instructor at the School of PE.